Thank you, Kelly. Now to the latest on the Oklahoma tornado tragedy. Cleanup efforts are in full swing and the neighborhoods wiped out by the deadly EF5 tornado on Monday. The Weather Channel's Dave Melkoff is live with a closer look at the hidden danger that's in the air. And Dave, I know you've spent some time uh, talking with the children there and I know it's been such a hard week for them. How would you say they're doing? They're, uh, they're a little shaken up. I mean, some of these kids spent time in shelters, underground shelters, and they didn't know where their parents were, so they were in tears in those shelters, and that's really tough. Another tough thing that these tornadoes do is it turns moms and dads and kids into construction workers. They have to pull all this toxic stuff out of their house and they don't necessarily know what's under the next rock that they're gonna pull up. And we saw exactly that just a few blocks back that way. This is Angie Davis's neighborhood, but she has no idea who these people are in what used to be her backyard. No, these are just random volunteers. They come through and they've been helping clean up. Walking next to the volunteers, you'll find the county health department. They're here giving out free tetanus shots. Angie got one just in case. Yeah, I, along with everyone else, am trying to be very, very careful as I walk through the debris here. There's tons of ways to get yourself injured. There's a sharp sheet metal. The building could collapse around you. Look at this, there's some barbecue tongs. You could step on that. That could do a number on your leg, and a lot of people have been injured that way. But then there's the hidden danger. This fiberglass insulation is everywhere, and it's blowing around and it's taking a toll on the kids as well. I'm 10. That's Cheyenne Phillips, Angie's little girl. I've been working in the kitchen for a little bit, and I guess because the fiberglass is in the air, it's been getting on my arms and stuff. So pretty much that's why I'm not working out here. I'm working inside, but it's inside too. That's why I've been in someone's car or truck, sitting there and just coloring in my coloring book. I mean, because you don't even have to touch anything. You can just be here, and I'll start breaking out. My skin itches. You know what I mean? It's awful. That's uh, insulation, I think. Karen Hollingsworth lives just a few blocks away. She's got the right idea here with the gloves, the long sleeves, the heavy boots. This wasn't as bad the first day, and then I guess as it rained, you know, it just kind of all, you know, just started falling down more. Does it hurt? It burns a little bit, yeah. The health department has seen people with the rashes here. Yeah, the fiberglass insulation is pretty irritating to people's skin. Um, and that's not necessarily what we're worried about. It's more the, the injuries where soil and rust can get into the, the bloodstream. And that's why so many people are getting the shot, including the strangers in Angie's backyard. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. It is very possible that Angie's house will have to come down, but Kelly, she and her little girl are okay, and that's the good news. That, that is the good news, Dave. Thank you so much. Amongst all the destruction there in Moore, Oklahoma, and I hate to say it, but we could be in for more thunderstorms. Some of them possible.